if you have the latest version of BetAngel um, up in the top right hand corner of the screen here you have a very interesting looking icon if you click on that icon it will bring up a thing um, that is called the overview screen um, and it is named the overview screen uh, quite simply because it gives you a great big overview of the entire market um, in this market you can see there's only four runners so this will be a little bit easier to describe exactly what the uh, market overview screen does first thing you can see here is you've got all of the runners um, and then various columns that go across the top they've all got tool tips on them so if you're not sure which each one of them means you can see here that it will give you a brief description of uh, exactly what each of these individual areas mean you can see we've got the back price, delay price, the last traded price, price the projected SP or the actual SP resolved at. We've also got other things in here that will help you with the trading. Um, the implied probability. So this is saying that you know if you do one divided by 2.6, you'll end up at 38% uh, or thereabouts. Um, and this basically represents how much each one of these is taking up in the market in percentage terms based upon their decimal odds. You can see here we've also got the amount of volume that's going through the market. So you can see here the front two obviously have most of the volume. In this case, they're pretty much the entire market. They're 90% of the entire market. Um, the poor horse uh, priced at sevens is only 8.7% uh, of the market. And the one priced at 40s is only one point, well, about 1% of the market. Very, very little. You can also see here the highest price that they've traded at and the lowest price that they've traded at. Um, and this is also represented as a um, an expression as a percentage. So you can see here at the moment King Supreme at 242 is approaching the bottom end of his trading range. You can see he's getting near the bottom end of his trading range. If we go to the chart here you can see King Supreme we can highlight and um, that allows you to keep an eye on, on basically you can see King Supreme there. Um, what's happening in the market with King Supreme. So you can see it's coming down to the um, lower end of his current trading range and the overview chart here is showing you all four runners in the market at the same time. If we wanted to highlight um, King Supreme let's uh, go in here and choose a color for him. Let's go for black or if we wanted to we could do something incredibly bright. Let's go for hot pink. There you go and that can highlight exactly what that horse is doing. So you can see there's lots of information on here. If you want to rearrange the information, very very easy to do. Yeah, and you click on one of these columns and then you just drag it and where you see two arrows pointing down on top of each other it's saying yes you can drop that there. So if I drop that there we've got the back price, last traded price and the implied probability. We could even look at the volume as well, that would be an interesting comparison if we did that against the implied probability. Oops, let's move that back you can see that um, this is taking up 44% of the market but doing 52% of the volume so there's a lot of money going through King Supreme at the moment. Um, but you can mix and match and move these around um, as much as you like so you know let's put this here as well and you can see how the projected SP is shaping up. All of that's completely user definable and it can be sorted by clicking on the um, top of the market as well. So if you want to click by projected SP, last traded price um, by volume, however you want to um, sort these runners, very easy to do, very very easy to do. Down here you have the um, overview chart, these show you the prices of all runners so you can see what's happening immediately, you can see that uh, Visions of Joanna is drifting and King Supreme is coming in and we knew that there was a lot more money on King Supreme so that sort of makes a lot more sense. If you want to focus in on one runner you can basically use these two sliders on either side and we can focus right in on just the two runners in the front of the field here and you can see how much more pronounced the drift and the uh, the price coming in looks. You can use auto zoom and that will basically show all runners in the market but obviously you know from a trading perspective and from a market perspective these two runners are going to be about 50% of the market. So this is uh, giving you a, a very good detailed view of two at the same time and can show you exactly what's going on. Also we have this uh, curious little device over here um, the risk meter. This gives you information about the race. But you can also see a rating. Um, we had to try and distill all of the information and knowledge that we have into one indicator. But basically you can see the risk meter will tell you um, approximately, according to this market type, how volatile it is. So it will look at this market, 
compare it to all other markets um, that have looked the same in the past and say well according to what happened in those markets this is how much uh, more volatile this market is so you can see there's some big movements in this market and as a consequence you can see here it's saying um, 85 percent now it will never be 100 percent accurate because we've had to distill lots and lots of information and algorithms and other stuff down into one indicator but nonetheless this gives you um, a, a good approximate indicator if the risk meter is much much lower you know that you can probably use bigger stakes take a bit more risk and, and you'll be okay but when the risk meter is very high um, then it's basically saying to you watch out because there's been lots of movement in this market if you want to undock these screens just double click it and then you can drag and drop this wherever you want onto a different screen um, or back to where it came from and the same uh, with the overview charts and any of the information on there um, but there's a, a quick summary of you of the market overview screen